Hi, second grade. We're back today for another math lesson. Today, we will be practicing subtracting any three-digit number. This lesson is from unit six, lesson number 11. Let's go ahead and get started. For the first problem today, we're going to practice subtracting using base 10 drawings. Now you might say, we did this a really long time ago and it seems kind of silly to go back to it. But it's very important to remember why we need to ungroup and how we ungroup. So let's take a look at our first problem. 432 minus 273. To get us started with this drawing problem, the first thing that we need to do is draw the top number. If you remember, when we add, we draw both numbers. But in subtraction, we only need to draw the top number, which is the bigger number. Let's draw it using our ones, tens, and hundreds. So we have 400, 30, two. Now that our top number is drawn, we can look at the bottom number to see how many we need to subtract. Now, let's start in the ones place. Right now, I have two ones, and my problem says I need to take three away. Can I do that? No, I can't. If I only have two, I can't cross out three. That means I'm going to ungroup. Let's take one of our tens and ungroup it. Now, I like to draw an arrow, and don't forget to cross off that 10, because if I ungroup it, it's no longer there. Let's give ourselves 10 ones. Now, I'm good to cross off. According to my problem, I need to cross off three of my ones. One, two, three. Second grade, let's count and see how many we have left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine ones left after I've crossed off. Now let's go to the tens place. Now according to our problem, we used to have three tens. But if you remember, we've crossed one of them off because we had to ungroup it. Now, I have two, and I need to take seven away. Can I do that, second graders? No, I can't. So, I'm going to need to do some more ungrouping. Now, I can't ungroup ones to get me tens, but I can ungroup hundreds. So, let's get rid of one of our hundreds, and how many tens are in a hundred? 10 tens, very good. So let's give ourselves 10 more tens. Notice that I'm drawing them in an organized way. Now that I have ungrouped 100, I should be able to cross off seven of my tens. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's count how many are left. One, two, three, four, five. Very good, so I have five tens left. Now, the last row that we need to worry about are the hundreds. I used to have four hundreds, but I have already ungrouped one of them. And in my problem, it says that I need to subtract two Hundred. So let's cross off two hundreds. One, two. How many hundreds do I have left? Just one. So I have one hundred left. So using our base 10 drawings, I got the answer of 159. Now you might say, this took a really long time and it seems kind of silly why we would do that but it's very important to go back and remember why we need to ungroup and how we do it with drawings. For the next problems, let's practice with our regular ungrouping way that's quite a bit faster. All right, second grade, 
Here we go with a subtraction problem where we will not be using any drawings, but we may need to go and ungroup either in the tens or the hundreds. Notice I didn't say the ones because the ones are not going to be ungrouping. Let's take a look and as always, we start over in the ones column. Now I have seven minus four. Which one is bigger, seven or four? Seven, and since seven is on top, that means we don't need to go and ungroup. Let's just subtract. Seven, six, five, four, three. We got three ones. You can also use touch points if that's something that your school and your teacher does. Seven, six, five, four, three. You'll get the same answer. Now, let's go next door to the tens. One minus nine. If I have one, can I give you nine? No, I can't do that because nine is bigger and it's on the bottom. That means I need to go next door and ungroup. Let's go over to the hundreds place and take one of those hundreds away and ungroup it to the tens. How many tens are in a hundred? 10 tens. That means now instead of just having one 10, I have 11 tens. Let's go ahead and subtract. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. I got two tens left. And last is five minus one, which is four. 423. Great job, second grade. If you notice, I did not need any more ones, but I did need to ungroup to get some more tens. The next problem is 224 minus 169. Let's start over in the ones place. Four minus nine. Hmm. Nine is bigger than four, so I won't be able to take four and give you nine. That means I need to ungroup. Let's go to our tens, take one of them away, and give those 10 ones over to the ones place. Now I have 14 minus nine. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine. Oh, I got five. Now let's go to the tens place. One minus six. Can I have one and give you six? Nope, that doesn't work. So I'm going to have to ungroup a hundred to get me 10 new tens. Now I have 11 minus six. Let's do touch points. 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Now let's look at our hundreds. I have one. Minus one, which gives me nothing, no hundreds. So I can just keep my answer as 55. 811 minus 384. Let's go ahead and start subtracting. As you know, we always start over in the ones place. I have one minus four. Can I have one and give you four? Nope. So let's go ahead and start on grouping. That means now I have zero tens because I only had one and that one ten was ungrouped. But now I have 11 ones. So 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Now I have zero tens and I need to take eight away. I can't have zero minus anything unless it's zero minus zero. So that means I need more tens. Let's go to our hundreds and they're going to give us 10 new tens. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Two tens left. And last in the hundreds place, seven minus three. Seven, six, five, four. 427. 
Now, this problem, as you can see, is already completed for you. But do you see our friend over here in the corner? This is Puzzled Penguin. I'm sure that most of you have seen Puzzled Penguin before. Now, he is always really close to getting the correct answer, but he always makes just one mistake. He always just makes one little error. So let's take a look at Puzzled Penguin's problem and see where his error was. So in the ones, we had five minus nine, which we cannot do. So he went next door. Oh, next door did not have any, it was a zero. So he must have started over in the hundreds place, but it looks like he didn't ungroup any hundreds. So he took some from the hundreds, but he didn't ungroup. Let's show him how this problem should be done. 705 minus 329. Now, Puzzle Penguin was correct at the beginning. We do need more ones. We can't do 5 minus 9. But when we go to our neighbor, Mr. Tens, he can't give us any. So, Puzzle Penguin needed to ungroup a hundred. When he does that, that gives us 10 tens. Then we can ungroup the tens to give us 10 new ones. Now he would be ready to subtract. So 15 minus nine, he was right, is six. Nine, eight, seven, that's good. He was right on these two. But the hundreds is where he made his mistake. We have six minus one, two, three. That gives us three left. So he really only made one tiny mistake. What he did is he took something from the hundreds, but he didn't ungroup it. So he was really close, but he just made that one little error. Let's try one more to try to help Puzzle Penguin. So we have 804 minus 658. You know, since it's Puzzle Penguin, I think I'm going to start by writing the problem because I know he's probably going to make a mistake. Let's start and let's see if we can spot the mistake that Puzzle Penguin makes. So in the ones place, we have four minus eight. Can I do that? If I have four, can I give you eight? No. So I go next door to my neighbor. My neighbor doesn't have any, does he? That means I'm going to need to start ungrouping in the hundreds. Let's ungroup one of our hundreds. Puzzle Penguin didn't do that part. Look, he kept it as eight. He didn't ungroup any of the hundreds. I think that might be where his mistake was. And that gives us 10 tens. Okay, well that's what Puzzle Penguin has. But then I need to give one of those tens and ungroup it over to my ones. Mm. He also made a mistake there, didn't he? He gave them next door to get us 14 ones, but he didn't cross off the 10 and make it a nine. So he actually made two mistakes in this problem. The first mistake was not ungrouping the hundreds. And the second mistake was not ungrouping those 10 tens to make it nine tens. So two mistakes in this problem for Puzzled Penguin. Let's go ahead and subtract. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Well, he got that one correct. That was good to go for Puzzled Penguin. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Mm. Because he didn't ungroup those 10 tens, he got the wrong answer at the bottom. And seven minus six, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 146. So he did get the ones place correct, but the tens and the hundreds, he got a little bit mixed up on.